The game as a whole is divided into three parts and follows the social issues that the protagonist faces in an all three period from childhood to adulthood and finally to old age. The game as a whole takes a critical thinking approach and focuses on the player's torment as they are faced with a puzzle. The game uses an interpolated narrative starting with the protagonist's memories when he is on the verge of podcast until he finally faces it again. The first stage of the game is the early years. Life is like a train moving forward in a fog, and the truth at each fork in the road is reversible. These seemingly optional junctions actually have a set focus on the track, and people sometimes appear to have choices, but the choices don't change anything. The early stages are all operated by the mouse and are mainly triggered by clinking on objects. The protagonist doesn't like the medical kit after receiving it. So the protagonist will choose another toy. The board and brushes correspond to the coloring game. Choose the colors by clicking on them with the mouse on the left and then fill in the pictures on the screen. The flute corresponds to a musical mini game, which is completed by playing the corresponding sound effects by clicking on the icons below in the order to of the musical score above. The doors correspond to the dress-up minigame, where you switch the clothes on the doors by using the arrows on either side. Scissors and colored paper correspond to the paper-cutting minigame, which is played by holding the mouse and moving along the edge of the ships, completing a circle to finish the game. After all, the toys have been replaced at the end. The character will find that only the medical toy box can be opened. Complete the infancy process by clicking to put all the items back in. As a whole, the second chapter contains a number of choices that not only exercise critical thinking, but also allow the player to reflect on the outcome of their actions. The purpose of this second chapter is also to illustrate that a person's life consists of Contrast choices that you may well choose the wrong option and the drop of a hat. So after making the wrong decision, are you willing to make up for your regrets or just to go with the flow? The second chapter of the game is middle age when the player works in a hospital and many extraordinary things happen on an ordinary day. The player uses ASDW to control the direction, the scene, and the space to skip the dialogue. Once the player enters the hospital, they will first have a conversation with the staff and get the task of going to their girlfriend. After the player finds his girlfriend in the office, he will enter the first level of the second chapter. And after a battle with his girlfriend, he will eventually break up. At this point, you will notice that the progress bar in the top right corner of the screen becomes higher and the screen turns red, which also represents the character's worsening mode and increasing stress. In the second level, the player performs an examination on the patient, at which point the player controls a virus that must successfully absorb 20 cells before triggering the plot, which asks the player whether to give painkillers to the drug addict, who is also known to use morphine as a drug. So what decision will the player make when he learns that your patient have a previous history of drug use? The third level is a typical philosophical problem, the tram conundrum. The staff will ask the player to choose a patient to treat. The triangle is between the first patient to arrive, the homeless man, the second patient to arrive, your father, and the last patient to arrive, the richest man in the city. Whichever patient is treated, the remaining two may die because you did not treat them in time. And it is a test of medical assets, family, and the future that the player chooses. Unfortunately, which, whichever patient you choose to treat will suffer from bad influence which will cause you to become increasing stressed and eventually depressed. The first level is the process of healing the player's inner world. The player wakes up in the middle of a desert and needs to stand on top of the desert oasis, squares in turn in order to perfume the desert into an oasis, and thus heals himself. The third chapter is devoted to old age, by which time the player is lying dying in a hospital bed, with the context of the co doctor's conversation with the child in his ear. The first level is to find the exist in the darkness. Unlike the traditional maze game, the player controls the light inside him and is anxious to find the exist as the bombs around in the darkness, unable to see the way. There are two exist, one is to heal yourself in obedience to the child's wishes, but this can also cause the player countless pains. At this point, the second level of the game, the memory, will be interred. The book chronicles the last period of the player's life, starting with a large amount of medicine and some food, then only nutrition fluids, and finally facing death. The choice to heal oneself may seem like salvation, but in fact, it's a darker base. It also reflects the problems of today's society, where many sons and daughters will insist on treatment regardless of the patient's feelings in order to show their love.
not realizing that sometimes death is a real life since that. If the player chooses another exist in the first level, it means absorb the healing then a good solution will be unlocked. In the second level, the player goes to many places after being discharged from the hospital. In the gallery, the regrets of his early childhood are remembered, the love he missed in the middle age, and the remorse of the different choices he made in the third level of the second chapter. Unfortunately, life has no ifs, and a miss is a miss.